spent the day at Daytona International Speedway, and he continues our team coverage with his post-game race report. Surrounded by his family, friends, and golden doodle, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. celebrated his Daytona 500 victory just like he has every other victory of his career. First stock car win, uh, actually my first sprint car win, uh, my dad climbed the fence, and, uh, and then my first ARCA series win at Kentucky, my, you know, our whole team, and my dad and I climbed the fence, and we met, he was on the grandstand side, we met at the top, which was super special. My first cup win in, in Talladega, my dad was on the back stretch, he climbed the fence, I saw him as I went by. And uh, I thought my guys were going to stay out there and climb it with me, and then I turned around and they were gone. So I was like, well, I guess I'll still do it. I've been really thinking about the Daytona 500 since last year. We put ourselves in a position. We led you know, 20 or 30 laps throughout the race. Uh, we were leading within you know, five to go and, and got spun off of turn four. And I told my guys you know, this whole offseason, I was like, I'll take that same spot leading you know, within five to go and, and take our chances. You know? And obviously we had different dancing partners with us, uh, but this is, uh, this is more special than I thought it was gonna be. Stenhouse Jr. said after the race, he doesn't race to prove anyone wrong, but rather to prove his guys right. Sunday, he proved he's a Daytona 500 champion. At Daytona International Speedway, James Grant, First Coast Sports.